Welcome everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. I'm here at the Crypto Expo Dubai with Daniel Friedman, the CEO of Zengate Global, here today to talk to us more about Palmyra. So Daniel, thanks so much for joining us. How are you enjoying the event so far? Um, it's actually been really good. Uh, a lot of, you know, a lot of really quality people. Um, it's not just, uh, you know, a bunch of, uh, a bunch of tokens trying to tell you sell you tokens. Sure. <laughs> it's actually people that are uh, they got really cool projects happening that have um, that, that really something to talk about. That's awesome. Okay. And you also did a keynote as well. I did. Um, so what are some of the key takeaways that you've had from this event so far? I mean, have you been able to talk with uh, other event booths? Um, I know a lot of people probably approaching you talking more about your project. Uh, so we'll get into that. But first, just uh, let us know a little bit about, um, you know, what are some of the conversations that you've had? Um, so one of the main themes of this particular conference that has been a lot stronger than other conferences have been to even this year has been the subject of just generally tokenization. Okay. Um, tokenizing real, 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 Yep, yep. Real good. world assets. We'll chop it up. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Good. yeah. You don't have to. Um, and which is really interesting because uh, this is something that I myself have been an advocate for for quite some time now. Mm -hmm. And uh, well, during the bull market, it, nobody was really listening because all the money was in monkey JPEGs. Right. Yep. So, you know, oh, that's where the money is, that's all we care about. And you talk about, well, yeah, but that can't go on forever. You know, you need to have utility. And then you can have utility with this. Yep. You can have great utility with this. Why don't we focus on that? Ah, whatever. But that's what happens in a bull market. You know, there's a lot of distraction. Right, a lot of hype. Yep, yeah, a lot exactly. of hype. Uh, yep. But here, uh, again, we're in a bear market right now. Still a lot of interest and a lot of talk about utility, and I really like that. That's great, that's great. And speaking of utility, so you have just announced the release of a new product called Palmyra. So tell us a little bit about that. Right, so Palmyra is a tokenized commodities exchange. Okay. Uh, and so we focus on what we call underserved commodities in emerging economies. Um, so what are underserved commodities? Uh, these are commodities that don't enjoy traditional um, opportunities for uh, for market exposure, for capital, for trading, like say for example gold does or silver. Sure. Uh, these commodities are not as fungible as traditional commodities, which is why they don't enjoy the same the same type of environment, the same type of opportunities. Um, and with the legacy system, it was difficult because the legacy system was not set up to uh, to, to uh, commoditize. Uh, uh, basically, commodities that are they can that are granular, so uh, granular. So, um, for example, with gold is just gold, right? So gold is gold, and it doesn't matter if it's my gold or your gold. It just has a standard purity, yep. and that's what's traded. Okay. You can't do the same with tea. Tea, you can't just trade tea. Tea has different types right. and different prices. So, okay. Sri Lankan Ceylon tea is going to have a different price than Chinese Oolong tea. Okay. Um, and there lies the issue of actually using the, the legacy system to commoditize these. However, these are multi-billion dollar. This is actually a trillion dollar market. Not wow. just tea, but underserved commodities is a trillion dollar market. And right. so using tools like tokenization then uh, provides the opportunity for you to actually plug into these commodities, tokenize these commodities, and right. then give them the same tools as traditional commodities have, wow. uh, which is the opportunity for buying and selling, for for, tra for, for spot buying and selling, right. for trading, for futures contracts, forward contracts, okay. uh, financing, trade financing, okay. uh, DeFi, this is something else that they're yeah. doing with Palmyra. Okay. Um, and I guess, why emerging economies, um, I just believe that is the place where we can have the most impact. Absolutely, absolutely. You had mentioned Sri Lanka with uh, Ceylon Tea. Um, so is that currently live on the platform right now? That is. Okay. Uh, so the platform was live about three weeks ago. Okay. Uh, Ceylon Tea has been onboarded onto the platform. So nice. you can right now, uh, th there is a uh, there's a KYB process that the buyers and the sellers have to go through okay. for obvious reasons. Mm -hmm. uh, and so once you go through this process, process, uh, you can then buy or sell tea okay. on the platform. Wow. And okay. this tea is tokenized using Ergo NFTs, actually. Nice. 
and uh, yeah, it's it's it's, it's it, it, there's a viewer. You get your you get your uh, you get your T NFT. Okay, I like what NFT, you did there. <laughs> and uh, it's got all this information, and so and the information that actually the, the real value of this particular asset yep. is the attached, the embedded information, like traceability yeah. information. Right. Right. Compliance information, um, certificates, digital certificates that can potentially hold. So that's what you're basically doing. You're, you're not only buying the actual product, physical commodity, but the attached digital asset has an inherent value of its own because okay. it's basically this, this data bundle that you receive that is of high value to you and your customers right. for various reasons. Yeah, I could think of one possible scenario like you just mentioned, um, origin tracking. I think it's really important if you're going to be buying and selling a commodity to be able to know the actual place where it came from. So that, that's a great use case yeah. for it. Yeah, no, absolutely. And this is actually, um, I mean, believe it or not, and, and people talk about this with the traceability, but in, in reality, never actually see this happen. With Sri Lankan sale on tea, it is a problem. So it is right. a problem for the producers because the producers who produce quality sale on tea have to compete with knockoffs. Right. So when yeah. it actually goes into the open market, if somebody else says, "Oh, I have sale on tea," I mean, how do you really prove how that it's real it? sale on tea? Exactly. You know, it's, at that point, it's just basically trust me, bro. Right. Uh, and a lot of times, people actually get counterfeit sale on tea. That's not sale on tea. That's a blend of something else or something else completely different. Uh, and this is not just the sale on tea field. Um, this is actually something that we're speaking with, speaking with Dave about. Okay. Dave Talbot, who uh, I'm sure that you guys know, put together this wonderful movie. Yep. Yep. And uh, yeah, it's covered Cardano brand. Uh, we were just speaking about this with honey. Uh, so honey. honey coming into the UK was tested really recently, and they found out that it's actually the bulk of honey is not really honey. Wow. It's just sugar syrup. Interesting. With honey flavor. Right. And actual huh. honey is kind of difficult to find because right. there's so many there's there's so much counterfeiting going on. Yeah. Um, and so that's again that's where traceability is crucial because if you're paying for honey, I want to get honey, right? Exactly. I don't want to get sugar syrup. Yes. I don't want to get honey flavored syrup. I want to get honey. Honey, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's important. It's important across the board. It's important to you and me as a as a customer, as, as a consumer. It's important to the producer who puts in the time and money and effort to 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 harvest this honey right. and to bring it to you versus you know some dude in the basement who bottled up a bunch of corn syrup and then sold it and said oh yeah, it's honey it's trust yep, me bro yep. slap a label on it yeah, it's honey yeah. okay it's trust me bro right right exactly wow well it's a great use case for a whole bunch of different commodities and in that case i wanted to just pivot really quickly uh, to more of like a technical question so you had mentioned these are actually ergo nfts so can you tell us a little bit about the cross-chain collaboration there between Cardano and Ergo? Are you using Cardano blockchain at all for yeah, this? Yes, so or? as we're scaling, and so right now it's it's still in the testing phase, but as we scale, um, as, well, I guess the, the amount of buyers and sellers increases, we're going to have a need for an Oracle network. In okay. fact, we do already need an Oracle network, and at that point we're going to need a decentralized Oracle network. Now, we are actually working with a company called Zero One X, the same company designed their tokenomics. Okay. Uh, they're actually the same company that, that designed the tokenomics for World Mobile. Oh, wow. Okay, So Great. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a powerful player in the ecosystem, mm -hmm. in the blockchain, in all blockchain ecosystem, not just Cardano. Uh, and so we are working with them on uh, utilizing a, a very unique type of Oracle, uh, Oracle network that is going to verify on off chain data. Okay. And so this okay. Oracle network is going to operate on Cardano. Okay. And since our token is going to be on Cardano, it's going to be paid in the, so the incentives for, for uh, Oracles are going to be paid out in, in the Cardano true. native assets. Nice. Um, and so what happens is, and the way it interacts with, uh, with the entire, uh, the entire model so the actual asset is minted on ergo okay and so since ergo is a UTXO it has all the same kind of benefits as Cardano does as far as uh, you know by storing in boxes and utilizing right. boxes for, for metadata storage okay so the way our protocol works the way our, uh, the winter protocol works right now uh, a an ergo asset is minted when a uh, when a physical asset is available for for tokenization okay uh, that asset is then um, 
a bootstrap with traceability data and is constantly going through state changes. So you don't get a new NFT. It's the same NFT that right. goes through state changes okay. with new information assigned to these boxes. I see, okay. Uh, and so the actual information gets stored on IPFS, or the long data gets stored on IPFS. Okay. So we're actually utilizing three blockchains. Wow, interesting. Uh, okay. It gets verified, so the on-off-chain data gets verified through the Oracle network on Cardano. Yep. The Oracle network then writes it to IPFS, the long data. Okay. Then that long data generates a hash from IPFS, which is then stored and referenced through the Ergo NFT. I see. Because okay. you don't want to just fill up the NFT with a bunch of long data. Right. Right, okay. so the NFT stores the, the hash. Once the information is called, so would you like, I'd like to display this information, reference the hash at IPFS, and IPFS then returns the data. Okay, well, that's a very good explanation that you gave there. So, interesting to see the use of different networks for the updating of the metadata. Very cool, very cool. I, um, I want to learn more about it. Of course, I think it's going to be great to actually get dirty with the platform and actually start buying some tea you know, with uh, Palmyra. Um, as far as people who want to learn more about how to get involved, um, so you said that there is a token. So is the token coming soon? Um, so is that minting yet? There is an IDO coming soon. So the first okay. IDO is going to be for ErgoPad on okay. Ergo. Uh, this asset will then be transferable for a Cardano native asset because after the Ergo IDO, we're going to be doing a Cardano IDO. Okay. And so uh, ultimately the asset will be on Cardano. Nice. So the asset okay. is, is going to be Cardano native asset. Okay. Uh, and so the Ergo community has been very supportive for us and a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of talent at, at Zengate is, is from the Ergo community so we're doing a smaller raise in the Ergo community we're also going to be doing a raise in the Cardano community a bigger one uh, also giving that early opportunity for access because um, really this is not this is not the big raise right this is not the token raise it's not a private round it's not a public round right this is an early access round for the community we specifically put that into the token Economics. Okay. It's not a big round, but it's enough for us to do what we need to do, and it's specifically made so that the community can come in early, has the opportunities to come in early at at the seed round, basically, right. and have access to this so that we have, well, first of all, it's, it's it's fair launch, you know. It's more fair distribution this way. Right. You can avoid to have, you can avoid having gigantic whales gobble up most of your most of your uh, market cap. Yes, that's true. Uh, yeah, and so we're very excited about this. It's coming in about two weeks. Okay. All right. And so yeah, watch out for that. Uh, check out VirgoPad, and yeah. we're going to be working with. Uh, a platform on Cardano as well. We'll announce which one it is very soon. Okay. Well, I'm excited about that. I hope that everything goes well with both of your IDOs. Um, I think it's going to be great for the community to participate because in terms of what blockchain is meant for, I feel like this is really touching on one of the key use cases, you know, supply chain, um, you know, tokenization, as you mentioned. I think it's going to be a great platform for other commodities as well, not just tea. You know, you were talking about honey. I'm sure there's other things like precious gemstones, yeah, and of course, absolutely. you know, the, the list goes on and on. So, um, fantastic to see your progress. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, and thank yeah. you for, for taking the time to, yeah. to speak. And uh, so, for, for information, uh, you can, for, of course, you can check out the platform. Yes. It's live at palmyra.app. Okay. So, palmyra.app. Right. Uh, also, of course, you can go to the website, to okay. the Zengi.global website. Uh, check out our Twitter. Okay. Uh, we got a lot of information there. And, yep. and uh, we have just released our white paper for Palmyra. Nice. So, you, okay. if you want to really, really dig into what it's all about, it's economic. The logistics, the the crux of it. Check out the white paper. Very cool. So everybody, I'll make sure I provide all those links in the description. Make sure you check those out. Uh, Daniel, thanks so much for being here and uh, taking Thank the time you. to sit down with us and talk more about Palmyra. Thank you. All right. Thanks so much, everybody. Take care.